and gentlemen, help me welcome my brother Pablo! Double thumbs up for the Kenyan. That's my relative by choice. <laughs> yes. In, in, in Kenya, the economy is so bad. It is so bad, the traffic policemen are even hawking in traffic. <laughs> you find a traffic policeman, <laughs> pulls out chewing gum, are you buying? <laughs> That's how bad it is, so... Uganda, you should be happy, wow! I saw a poster on uh, Facebook saying that the population of Uganda has increased by 2%. I thought it was a joke, but now I confirm. <laughs> Honestly! And it's not a lie. <laughs> Sometimes I doubt those statistics because I was once a, a, a census enumerator. And uh, that year, it was very tasky, very interesting, because I was counting people in a place called in, in Imbarara, I want to mention the place where I was. And because of different myths, you don't just count anybody. So I went to the first house, I asked the gentleman, uh, so how many children do you have? I don't count my children. So I asked him, so how many wives do you have? The one who counted me died. They started threatening me. And so I was wondering, what will I do? How will I get that statistics? I asked the guy, how many cows do you have? He said, if we count them, we shall not have milk. So I decided, what do I do? So this is what I did. I decided to ask the neighbors about the neighbors. <laughs> I would go to the neighbors and ask them, hey, how many children does Amos have? I have Amos. Amos. Then the conversation starts. Amos has five. Nga, nga. He has seven. <laughs> Even the other neighbors is his. Mm. I said, okay. I'm not talking about the neighbors. I want the ones in the house. Ha! Obando manana. So the neighbors would tell me, then ask how many cows? They even send the younger child to go and count, go and count. So after they say, have you finished? I said, yes. So are you counting us? I go, no, I already have your information. <laughs> you know, Wakanda is in Kawanda. <laughs> if you think I'm lying to you, ask me. <laughs> yeah, I was raised in Wakanda. People who are raised in challenging situations, always turn out to be very important. Because of the challenges, shelter begins at home. When they serve food on a silver platter, you're planning at what point, where is the meat? How do I get it from the other angle? You risk, you put your hand through the rusania, yes, it will burn you. But you turn and get the meat. So if you're raised in such situations, you know, where on Christmas you eat in installments. <laughs> Your father brings the, the, the portion, says we shall mingle tomorrow. Another day, he brings the toothpicks, everything is for tomorrow. When you see toothpicks, you know there is meat. Then he brings the vegetables, greens. Yo, yeah, I think those are the beginning of Christmas reaches, they prepare the greens and posho. He brings a photo of a hen and puts it there and says, eat while looking at this hen. The future is bright. <laughs> Kids are back in school. I don't know about you, but if there's one thing I don't like, it's homework. Why should we do homework with children? I don't know about you, but I was raised in a suffering generation. They give you homework. It wasn't this one for writing in books. It was real homework, slashing. <laughs> slashing. You wake up in the morning, you first have to milk cows. After milking cows, you remember at school they sent you for banana fibers. You go to the banana plantation, you get fibers, you reach at school, they are counting them. They wanted 20, you have 19, you tear the other one, they are now 20. <laughs> that kind of hard labor. Then I come to Kampala, I reach home and my son had homework. And he said, Daddy, they have said we do homework together. I said, I pay school fees and I do homework with you. And even the syllabus has changed. Imagine a child in P1. They were asking him to give examples of amphibians. <laughs> amphibians? Me, Pablo, have forgotten those things. <laughs> he told me to give him an example of an amphibian. The only amphibian I remember is a frog. <laughs> so I told him a frog. He said, thank you, daddy, but they want two. <laughs> I told him another frog. 